Hello, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 27th to July 3rd. This is for Aries Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I use astrology, tarot, and my guides to lead your reading. Now, the reason I use astrology is because astrology and tarot have gone hand in hand for centuries. Not a lot of people use astrology with tarot, but let me tell you, it's very important and it gets things really specific. Now, Aries, listen, in terms of uh, June 27th to July 3rd, really big week, and I'm going to tell you why. First, Monday, June 27th, listen, Mars and Saturn, huge sextile. Now listen, I'm not even joking. These are two malefic planets working in our favor the last week. Okay, with Mars and Aries. Now, I've told you before, Mars and Aries, take action. Go for your dreams. Go, go, go. This is the last week, okay? Really take action. I also want you to know, June 28th, huge day. A lot of alignments that day, but we do have a new moon in Cancer. Huge, 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 huge new moon in Cancer. Aries, that's affecting your fourth house, your domestic sphere, your domestic fear, okay? Your home, your family, you know, your surroundings, things around your home, renovating, moving, all of those things could be on the top of your mind, maybe taking care of, you know, older parents. There's a lot of things happening there, okay? We have, listen, that's, you're going to feel that for a while, all right? Especially with this end in cancer. The last thing I'm going to tell you, and this is the biggest takeaway, Venus in Gemini is sextiling Jupiter in Aries on Wednesday, June 28th. Oh my goodness. Listen, Aries, this, this transit, this alignment happens twice a year. It's only happening once. And this is the week that it's happening. Now, what does this mean? Okay, Venus in Gemini, Beautiful desire, communicating the desire that we want, things that we want, Jupiter and Aries, all that prosperity and growth, warm, fuzzy feeling. We really love this. Again, this is the only time this is happening this year. So go out there, have fun, party, make love. This is all about good fortune and blessing, all right? This is a powerful week for you, Aries. Powerful week, with, especially with Jupiter in your sign as well, Aries. This is why the theme of the week is dream catcher. I want you to go catch, go chase your dreams, catch them, make them turn into reality. All right, Aries, I'm not even joking. This is your time. This is a huge week for you. You are going to see a lot of action, but like I say in my readings, Everyone has free will. You can choose to do nothing at all. You can sit there and binge Ozark all day, or you can go out there and go meet people, uh, turn in resumes for a new job that you want, have conversations, find that person on Tinder, do it this week. Listen, my, oh, I was about to call y'all something. I really, that's how I'm excited for you, Aries. I really want you to take action. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading for this week, June 27th to July 3rd. Aries, I'm very excited. Here we go. Now, Aries, I do the traditional occultic cross spread. It's what my clients prefer. And listen, if you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me. But secondly, the uh, occultic cross spread, my favorite spread, but also my clients, and it does give a really good general overview. Secondly, Aries, hey, Aries, listen, if this is your first time on my channel, would be great if you like and subscribe. And Aries who are subscribers, it would be great if you like. I also love the comments that y'all leave. Please leave comments. It really, really, really uh, is something that I appreciate, and it's so encouraging for me too. Aries, I'm in a good mood today. I'm, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Listen, I'm going to bring these cards up uh, to the screen. Listen, this week, out of control, all right? Oh my God, this is insane. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go ahead and get started. 
King of Cups. Now, Aries, it looks like you've been wanting to get to this place, to this emotional place where you're balanced, where you feel good, where there's a lot of activity uh, in terms of you being emotionally in charge. A lot of y'all have gotten there, okay? You could have had some, let's call them speed bumps in the past few weeks, okay? Little speed bumps, all right? Maybe in your physical life, maybe mentally, all right? You are coming on top so emotionally stable. You can see the King of Cups, his uh, throne is literally on top of water. That's how stable he is. That is amazing. I'm so proud of you, Aries. Keep it going, keep it going. Fire ahead, fire ahead, and just know it that you own your emotions, okay? And I love that. Speaking of emotions, what have I said in the past? Emotions are neutral, all right? The action we take toward the emotions is what put them in motion, okay? So, I love that. We need to start putting more positive energy into our emotions, put it out there, put it in the ether. Albert Einstein himself said, everything, everything is made of energy, okay? So, what does that mean? We want to raise the frequency. I love that you're doing that, Aries. I love that you're doing that. You're putting yourself in a great emotional space, and you know where that's bringing you. It brings you to the world. I don't make this up. You saw me shuffle the deck. You saw me lay this out. You got the world, all right? This is your week, Aries. This is your week. The world, take a look at that. Oh my goodness, you're coming to the end of one journey, starting a new chapter in your life a beautiful new chapter. You can see in her hand the two magician's batons that started with the magician in the beginning of the tarot deck, okay? This is all about victory, success. This has a long shelf life. You can see the four, mm -hmm, the four signs of the fixed signs right here. This is long shelf life. I love this. You got this in the heart of your spread, baby. The heart of your spread. This is going to be your week. Now, Aries, you got this in your challenge, right? You got the four of cups, okay? Now listen, here's the thing. I'm not going to go too much into this. You know why? Because you're in the right, you're going the right direction. The four of cups is really, you know, when it comes to the challenge area, I want you to be grateful, okay? I just want you to be grateful of everything that's happening. As I said earlier, y'all have been going through ups and downs. This is the week it all ends. You have to take action, you have to make it end, but you put that positive energy out there, it's gonna end, okay? Be grateful in the moment. We can talk about the laws of attraction if you want me to. We can do that. Always be grateful for what you have in your life, Aries. Y'all are smart. You know that some people out there don't even get opportunities, okay? If you did not get what you wanted at some point in the past few weeks and it left you a little grumpy, nope. Nope, we don't like that attitude. Be grateful. Be grateful that you actually did get that opportunity. And the new and the ones that you actually want, they're coming. If, the, if you didn't get the one that you want, it's coming big time. Listen, look, you got the six of swords. I love that. You know what's really funny? Oh my gosh, let me tell you. The my site is called the Tarot Ship. It's inspired by this card. One of my favorite cards. I love, love, love the Six of Swords. It means you're moving out of turbulent times, okay? You're moving into a way better place. Uh, and this is something that you want. You want to move out of this area. And it really shows with you, with the King of Cups showing up in your past, Six of Swords showing up in your crown, it shows you want to move out of it. You want to move forward. You, there's so much that you want, and you're going to go for it. Remember, remember, this is your week. I don't know why I'm clapping, but... Uh, please take advantage, even today, if you're watching this on today, Monday, June 27th, when Mars sextiles um, Saturn, which is retrograde, but that's fine, when they, that's, that sextile, oh my goodness, this is huge, 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 okay? Authority, power, putting it to action, moving away from all that drama, all that, you know, turbulence that was happening in your life. I love that. I love that you're thinking that, okay? Knight of Pentacles at the end of the day. This is all about money. This is career. Aries, some of y'all are, listen, there's a lot happening with Aries. This is career though, okay? At the end of the day, you did pull the Knight of Pentacles and I love that for you because you're thinking of uh, what, how you're gonna move forward in terms of career. A lot of questions about your career, okay? Now listen, and when I say career, enterprise work, 
whatever, but money, okay? Money is the most important thing on your mind, okay? You're looking for a new way to make money, okay? And it could be with your current profession, maybe a new uh, position at your job, uh, or maybe a new company within your industry. There's a lot, maybe a new side hustle, maybe some sort of project, maybe you're gonna sell bracelets on Etsy, whatever it is, deep down inside, you want that. You wanna start this new thing and watch it grow, okay? I just got the message for some Aries too, and it, you know, it's funny because I do get a lot of messages that don't even relate to the cards, but there's a lot of love here too, and there's a lot of y'all that wanna start this new growth and love too. I love that for you, all right? I love that for you. But the Knight of Pentacles really is very fiery energy, but also interestingly complex because you can tell he's not, um, they're all on horses, all the knights are on horses, but he takes things slow and steady. He's not like boom, 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 like the Knight of Wands, which you also got. You got two knights here, all right? Very active, very, very active. Um, but this is really good, slow and steady, but you see all that yellow freshness, newness coming in. I love that for you. Now, again, you got the Knight of Cups, or I'm sorry, Knight of Wands. And here's the thing. Things are going to move fast, all right? Things are going to move fast. Uh, speaking of fire, not only are you fiery, Aries, the Knight is fire, Wands are fire. This is a orgy of fire here, all right? Pardon my French. I don't even know if it's French. Maybe it's Latin, wherever it comes from. Listen, huge, huge energy, Aries. I'm so excited for you. This is very transformative energy. This is career-related, enterprise-related, even ideas that you have. If you're thinking about launching a business, if you're thinking of launching some sort of project, man, you're going to move forward fast. You want to move forward fast. This came up in your future area. Again, like I said, very transformative, and I don't want you to worry about anything, okay? I don't want you to worry about anything at all. You can see the knight is fully protected, fully armored here, and you're ready to go. I see a lot of travel too. Aries, y'all are gonna, some of y'all are gonna travel. That's gonna be very good for you right now, okay? Especially if you are traveling this week. Wow, amazing. Pay attention, all right? Pay attention to everything that happens. I want you to pay attention, learn from it, learn who you are, learn what you want, and remember what I said, dream catcher. Chase your dreams, catch them. They're right there. They're right there. This is the week for it. Now, Aries, mm -mm -mm. I don't even need to clarify anything here. This is amazing. Okay, let's go to your staff. Now, Aries, if you have, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, if you haven't liked, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. Now, wow, all right, so we are going to bring some clarifiers here because there's something I want to check out, but uh, hello, you got the Ace of Swords, uh, amazing. So if I were, okay, here's the thing, get ready, Aries. I would say buckle your seatbelt, but don't do that because you're gonna go fast. You're gonna go fast and it's not and it's gonna be very exciting for you. You got the ace of swords. All right. This is all about breakthrough, okay? Especially mental breakthrough, okay? So the some areas who are still kind of like uh, tottering, teetering, is it teetering? Um, I want you to know. Put that energy out there, have that mental breakthrough. Some Aries, it's gonna come naturally, it's gonna come, you're gonna feel it, all right? This is all about breakthrough. Ace ushers in the most change. Out of the minor arcana, new change. Victory, success, breakthrough, all right? This is really great. Also, I don't know if I uh, mentioned it earlier, but there, uh, I did get like a lot of sexual energy. Um, Go for it, all right? Safe sex, okay? But um, y'all could have had, y'all are ready is basically what I'm saying, all right? Perfect timing with summer, all right? We're in summer now, perfect timing. It's really good. Uh, getting a lot of that sexual tension and sexual energy, go for it. Remember, oh my goodness, remember Wednesday, June 28th, Venus, uh, the Venus, uh, uh, Jupiter sextile, oof, come on, 
That's so good. All right. And that's with your partners, whatever. Just It's going to be a good one. All right. Now, listen, you did get the seven of swords. So here's the thing, Aries. I want you to know, eventually this week, there could be a situation where someone is not telling you the truth. Someone is holding something back from you. Someone is trying to sneak around a situation. Um, listen, I'm getting the message. It's something you're already aware of and that you're going to take care of it. All right. But it could be you too. If you're trying to skirt around an issue, don't do it. Okay. Face it. Face the truth. Face the truth. Face any truth that you have to. This is not the week to do. This is the week to take charge. Okay. Dream catcher theme of the week. All right. We do not want to throw any of that negative energy toward chasing our dreams. All right. We want it to be this very clean, smooth sailing. You got the magician to clarify that card. Okay. So you will have the power to manifest whatever you want this week. Okay. As long as you confront this issue, I call this the lying, cheating, stealing card. Okay. Whoever's trying to get, who try, maybe take advantage of you or uh, get something from you that, you know, I, I'm getting a lot of career energy here, but at the same time, they're doing a really good job. All right. Confront them. Nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. I don't see it being anything major. I, I, I just feel like a minor thing. Like, um, you know, in career, it could be something as like, uh, if you're the boss of someone, they could be just not doing their job the way that they were supposed to. If you work for a boss, uh, well, if you have a boss and this is you, it could be you that's like, oh, there's... I need to go see my friends in town. So I'm going to just, and I work from home, so I'm not going to work for two days and not let my boss, you know what I mean? Just something sneaky, but very minor. Okay. But again, once you do that, you're back on track. All right. We all love the magician as above. So below, we want to reflect what's up there. Bring it into our life. Remember what I said, dream cratcher. Where are the dreams? Boom. They're up there. All right. Bring them down. Bring them down. I know you want it. You got the queen. Of, you got the queen of wands. All right. She has the uncanny ability to attract whatever she wants. This is all about independence. This is, you know, we love her. She's such a badass. We love the queen of wands. All right. And listen, this is what you're hoping for. You're hoping to attract those things that you want. This is something that you want. All right. So when I say this week, the theme is dream catcher. Don't forget that, all right? This is the week for you Aries to go after it big time. I also, back to this, sorry, I got another message. It could be a landlord situation too. If Aries, if you're moving or looking for places or looking to buy a house, just, you know, keep your eyes open about certain uh, conditions with the house or apartment or even a new roommate that may be moving in. Uh, sorry, I had to bring that up. Okay, last card. You got the five of cups. So what does that mean? This came in your final outcome card. There could be a disappointing situation that happens this week, okay? Now listen, here's the thing. Something could happen that's disappointing, but in the end, ooh, look at that, you got the Queen of Swords. In the end, listen, if there is something that happens that is disappointing to you, something that you feel a little, it makes you feel, uh, look, let's just, I, let me just show you the card, okay? This is all about loss, this is all about grief. This is not being able to let go of something that happened, okay? Now, you can see the full cups behind him. All he has to do is look up. All he has to do is look up, cross the bridge to a better place. Now, listen, something could happen this week that may be a little disappointing. I want you to look up. I don't want you to dwell on it, all right? You got the Queen of Swords, okay? So it looks like you will, all right? She is, you know what? I call her the Ice Queen. Okay, because she's not the queen of cups. She doesn't lead with her heart. She leads, she leads with her head. All right. She leads with her head, not her heart. She uses that sword. Listen, with great power comes great responsibility. This is a double edged sword. You have the power to dwell on this disappointing situation, or you have the power to move forward, to learn from it, to grow from it, to move forward. Now, listen, 
here's the main takeaway. You have to care for what you want, okay? You have to care about moving forward, all right? So remember that. Sometimes, listen, sometimes we can't move the mountain alone, okay? It's all about caring. If you have to do it stone by stone, do it stone by stone, all right? Whatever this situation is, easy to get out of just like that. Just remember, lead your lead with your lead with your head now, all right? Think about it, okay? Clarified it with the seven of cups again. Well, here's the thing. This is all about illusions, and I'm not even gonna lie. There are so many other astrological aspects happening this week, but I only wanted to focus on the major three. Uh, Neptune is going retrograde. I mean, there's like a whole, and Neptune is a planet of illusion, okay? So know what you want now, all right? No dilly-dallying. I want you to know what you want. I want you to learn from this situation. It's gonna help you know what you want. This is all about, you can see the young man here getting all these different opportunities, okay? Universe is granting him all these opportunities. Take a closer look. You see they're not all that great, all right? Know what you want, okay? And really, 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 really just know that some things that could come your way may not be the right things for you. That's why it's so important to know what you want because when you know what you want, it's easier to go chase your dreams. It's easier to catch your dreams now. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Aries, I'm in a really good mood. You have a great reading. You're entering a very new life chapter, a very, very new life chapter in your life. Sorry, new chapter in your life. Very huge forward momentum in a big way. Look at that. You got the six of swords. You got the knight of wands. You got the world. You are moving forward, having a, a major mental breakthrough. This may happen. Something disappointing could come up. And, you know, if you are going through, if there is something that comes up that is, you know, like a, a, a kind of like a disappointing situation that uh, really affects you, just remember, think about it. Think about it. Use your head right now, all right? Cut any, use that sword to cut any drama from your life, okay? And I know it's easier said than done, but just remember, if you fall down, get back up again. Be a Chumbawamba song right now, all right? You have the most forward momentum I've seen for you in a while. This is amazing. You're good. I love you, Aries. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next week. Actually, I'll see you next, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you next week, okay, uh, for the July reading, but also, uh, my celebrity readings, which I do every week. Anyway, Aries, I've gone on too long. Oh my gosh, 23 minutes. All right, Aries, I love you so much. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.